you've seen the ads. And if you haven't, well, I'm sure the keywords on this video have changed that by now. ClickUp, which is a productivity app that claims to be an all-in-one platform, as well as a killer of everything else you use, is definitely the former of those two, but is it the latter? I decided to take my mixed Trello and Notion setup for my game, Seashell, and bring it all into ClickUp to have it in one centralized hub. My name is Mark, and I have been using productivity apps for quite a while now, but ClickUp for the very first time. So here are some clips of my first experiences bringing everything over and setting up some brand new things in ClickUp. And of course, I'll be sharing my thoughts in a more concise manner at the very end. Thanks for stopping by. This is the Seashell Trello board. I wanna convert it all to, to ClickUp. I've been waiting for something to try ClickUp for. I, I tried importing my lifestyle channel board to ClickUp, but I just, ClickUp had too much, right? Wanted to keep the Trello board simple. So, now this isn't affiliated with ClickUp, just to be clear real quick. I was talking with a friend the other day. He was asking me questions about Trello. And one thing I realized that I should do is I should organize Seashell into two boards, actually. I should have one for design and one for development, which can make sense. <laughs> But it's a lot going on on one board right now, right? New space, seashell development. I think these are agile points, I imagine. Time tracking would be nice. I do use toggle for that. There's a way to import. It's super straightforward too. I'm gonna poke around this quick start. So we have the workspaces intro stuff. These are templates, by the way. I think, you know, with Todoist and Trello, some of the best ways I've learned are just like going through their quick start templates. So if this is a single task, oh, there's so it's overwhelming, honestly. That's what's nice, you know. Notion is nice because it just, it hits you with like an empty page, right? But it's almost deceptive. Anyway, task. Oh, I'm doing this right now. We'll do this later. Okay. Wait, what does minimize do? Oh, cool. Okay, that's kind of neat. Yeah, okay, it is ready. Again, I'm still gonna use Trello for Lifestyle Channel and Canano. ClickUp just had too much for it. I have a nice simple system with Todoist and Trello. Season, okay, you can have tables within tasks. Oh God, oh my God. <laughs> okay, so K is kind of a standard. I don't know why, they must have taken that from maybe Todoist, maybe Todoist took it from somewhere. But K gives you the quick start. I think Discord is the same thing. Yeah, so Discord does control K as well. Not sure what that is. Learn the board view, ooh, calendar view. I love calendar views, man. There must be a dark theme, but we're gonna worry about that later. Okay, now uh, yeah, I definitely don't need this stuff. It's just nice to know. That's my storage limit. Oh, you can move it. That's nice. Okay. Um, oh, that's what this progress is. That makes a lot of sense. Let's see. This is the board that we imported from. Do I want to separate content and design or development and design? If I open up ClickUp, what's the first thing I want to see? I immediately want to know what I. Oh wait, statuses? Okay, right, right, they're for the whole... Holy crap. <laughs> Why am I so confused? Okay, we, we got it. So confused right now. <laughs> okay, good. It's all open, which is, I mean, fine. But like if I, let's say go to all things, right? Yeah, I don't want these to do all that. That's what it is. <sighs> oh my God, that took me so long. That took me forever, dude. Okay, we have to delete all the statuses and save. Change all of them to open. God, this, okay. So well, the problem here, pretty much. Very nice. It's very nice because I get to say, okay, this is the information parts of these things. Then I can see, okay, what am I learning? And then we can go down one. Oh, thank God. And we can create a new list and we can say development tasks because, see, this is allergic reaction, right? I like scratch myself and it's red and it becomes itchy like immediately. I hate this. Okay, so the folders always come first. That sucks. Top views. We'll just, we'll just circumvent it by making a folder and putting it up top. <laughs> no, I thought it would show the folders. Where are the folders then? Oh, it shows the folders last. But... Wait, that doesn't make sense. Did, what did I just do? I just duplicated something. Information, what? Why does this exist? I'm sorry, I broke it. <laughs> I broke it already. <laughs> Yikes. I wanna make it so that design tasks are things like island description and the specific loop for the island and like some sketches for that. Concept art is a design task. The divider is that anything is not, anything that's not specifically implementable, 
I can't drag and drop it, so to speak, into Unreal or Unity or Gata or whatever I use. Anything I can physically use in the game is a development task. Anything that's not is a design task. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> I'm gonna have to do the Notion stuff later. It can wait. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. I'm gonna move all these. Whoops. No, convert to subtask, yeah, 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 to this. Whew, clean, dude. Okay, design. We're gonna move these to subtask of sound things. <laughs> just to make sure that the 44 is just a facade. This is gonna be worth it in the end, he tells himself. Up to a uh, sub cost fallacy has me using this for a while now, so. Okay, delete information. And then for the prototype, we can open the folder specifically. We have the development tasks and the design tasks. And then I can go into each of these specifically. And I think about 12 minutes. <sighs> I guess it's like write out um, plot for start of the game. Write out, write out timeline. Yeah, so that's that, right? All right, I'll come back to this, right? So the information, learning. Okay, this is ah, so much nicer. That took me an hour and 17 minutes just for the Trello stuff. And I forgot that I genuinely have this whole notion set up. I kind of like this setup and what I'm going to do. So this, the import is really straightforward, but I think for ClickUp, you want to make use of the fact that it can do so many different things. I just, I don't just want one board. That's the thing. So the import is just bringing everything over, but I have to reorganize everything. I wanted to use notion because I wanted to just dump ideas in here right we could have like a task on here that's like a scratch pad so okay i played what remains of edith finch which is this page here and i was like what if i turn seashell into a game actually start the damn game yeah that's what i need to do i love notion for specific things i wasn't totally vibing with it so what i would love to do is oh you know what i can do make a new view we'll pin it add view rename and then we'll go ahead and filter Already kind of talked about this again. No partnership with ClickUp, obviously. Oh, there's dark mode. I mean, it's just a web browser app. It's all Chromium, but I'm gonna enable that. I'm gonna forget about it. That's not bad. I think I kind of get what it's saying. So you can have, oh, okay. So you can have a task I see both for the development thing and for, okay. Ooh, that's a nice dark mode. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I haven't even finished. I got so distracted. Okay, <laughs> this is nice stuff. My resources don't have any true. Okay, so the to-do list was tracked through Trello. That's fine. Version release, not released yet. Now, okay, let's say I do a new sprint. No, not a new doc. <laughs> yes, a new doc. This is exactly what I need. <laughs> I mean, this is this is just a replication of Notion relationships forgot about that i'm gonna enable that i'm gonna forget about it so then we're gonna take all of this oh my god there's so much here god i forgot how much i had Jeez. <sighs> can i make a link that's what i wanted that is exactly what i wanted okay so can i add a doc in yeah okay that's nice there it is there it is and i can... oh that's okay incredible this, this right here is why the all-in-one has hope. Cool, that wraps up the Notion import. Now that I have actually tried to use a doc, even though it was by accident, um, I'll record one more segment of digging into ClickUp where I'll actually start adding tasks and looking at the sprint thing, because this is a nice total overview. I mean, I know when I click here, I'd love for it to show me the doc. I have not looked at this almost at all, and I have notifications off on like all of my phone, all of my apps. Um, so, what's <sighs> mobileness is very, very nice. So obviously, I have nothing due today. Um, this calendar view is cool. First impressions: a student not going to look at seashell develop. I go to islands and zones. I click all zones. It's very nice. It's not just like some port of the app, right? So if I go to seashell, I want to see if I can. So on the thing, we have the seashell landing. We have information. So this is the web page part. If I go to information on my phone, resources, just comparing things. I am trying. So if I view all for seashell, uh, I can change. Oh, the seashell landing page. That's a view? 
Oh, it's pinned as doc, okay. The mobile app's behind. What's important though is I wanna be able to see what I need to work on at a glance. So, zone one island, right. All zones. And we can add subtasks in description, okay. The thing with the mobile apps, in my opinion, to keep it brief, like to do is, is you don't use them as your primary thing. You just can write an idea down if you have it, and if you just need to have a quick glance at what you're working on, you can. Okay, this is cool. So it, it provides you two views, right? If I go to design tasks, stop scratching. <laughs> if I go to design tasks, right, it's kind of tedious to do this for everything. <laughs> Frick, I forgot about that. Okay, there's that's useless then. It's kind of hard to, like, for everything that I have at the moment. What the heck? There's no relationships thing. How did I do that for this? But as I go, I'll definitely add it. Island description specific loop, I suppose. It's definitely one of them. Island end sketches and design. It was there, right? Oh, add relationship. Hello. Zone zero, house. Girl concept art. Uh, at the, I mean, you, you need the main character. So we'll add this to house. Because I, what I don't want to do is see... On a very simple view, right? I don't want to see all of this. I don't want to see Carlos sketches. I don't want to see anything to do with the island. I want to get the house stuff done. The only thing that links a house to, or sorry, a task to the zero with the zone, zone zero, is this relationship. I want to hide stuff I don't want to think about. I only want to focus on, let's say, house things. Show everything. Let's go ahead and make a new sprint. Select the dates for your sprint. Um, 117 to 130, I like. We start at zero in this town. I'm very curious. I mean, I do have this on my task, right? You have all these tasks that I want to work on, right? We have all these design tasks. If we consider this first sprint, what if I take the current design tasks? So whatever I want to do up next, pin, is that how? Yeah, okay. So I sit down and I say, oh, okay, up next for my design tasks, I have these things. So if I go to development tasks now, I can say, completed, what I'll do is I'll take design tasks and I'll keep, okay, because these are design tasks, keep those in completed. And I'll keep development tasks in the completed thing here. And as bugs and back burner stuff comes up, they'll, they'll come into here, right? So then in the sprint one, what are the first things I want to work on? We'll go ahead and we'll take the timeline for start of game. Stop scratching your arm. Now I know there's a lot of, you know, just start making the game, right? For me right now, I need to have something I can picture. I need to have, you know, a movie I can play out of my head. I want to link it to sprint one. So in progress, outline the first initial events, create a storyboard. So if I go to this relationship, dependency, here we go. Okay. So if I go to design tasks, we go to timeline and we click on relationship and dependency waiting on this. It's waiting on this. Great, okay, this is the stuff that has to be done for this sprint. Oh, it's got a stop sign, blocking dependency, right. So effectively this task cannot be moved, has relationship links waiting on dependency, love this. It's waiting on these two events. Go to outline first initial events. Oh, okay. What I can now do is I can say, hey, let me do something for development, right? So current dev tasks. Um, what's nice about progress is that you can look back and, you know, look at these things and say, oh, wow, this is so cool. And then what sucks about it is that if you look back and realize you haven't made progress in something in like seven years, it sucks. Yeah, so this kind of feels a little verbose, I'm not gonna lie. It might take me a minute to get used to, but I do like this because I have all the information for each zone, right, that's here. I can see all the tasks that are related to it and the doc that might define it, which I could just put in here, you know? Stop scratching your head, please. That is the worst one. So I added a relationship to a task and this is the task itself. Brilliant, love that. So yeah, and I see this and then whenever I finish a sprint or whatever, uh, or you know, I have a design idea, I wanna get down, do some planning for the next zone or something. I put it in design tasks and then development ends up being, all right, I have a zone that's designed. And then, yeah, I can flush out the landing page a bit, information, learning, all that. I'll save all that for an actual seashell devlog. So yeah, let's do a quick conclusion and that'll be it. So one thing is that ClickUp has a lot going on when you first look at it, whereas something like Notion is a lot more simpler where you just have a blank page, ClickUp throws all of this stuff at you. So it's a little daunting, but once you get around it, it's not that bad. Moving my video scripts to ClickUp, which I've done now, has been pretty seamless and easy. However, their templates for docs and tasks definitely need some TLC. 
One thing that I love is that ClickUp seems more task oriented as opposed to whole board oriented. A task can be on multiple different boards, has its own level of progress, et cetera, et cetera. Whereas other platforms tend to focus on a whole board that's made up of a bunch of tasks. ClickUp says, here's one task that's made up of a bunch of different boards, if you will. The importing is never going to be perfect. It's from Trello to ClickUp it was nice, but it was effectively a big copy and paste. And if you keep your exact system from Trello with just the labels and stuff, you're defeating the whole purpose of ClickUp. So instead of having something like 20 statuses on one board, ClickUp lets you take a little time, but at the end of the day, you'll end up having something like four statuses on five boards. And lastly, on the mobile app, having an ideas notepad is great. I use it all the time. I just wish it had an offline mode because as soon as my train goes underground and loses signal, ClickUp freaks out for a moment. So yeah, now I gotta figure out to just sit down and get started on my game. But if you're interested in ClickUp, give it a shot. It does take some time to get oriented, but what doesn't? Enough planning on my end and it's time to start doing. Thanks for watching, have a good one, and as always, don't forget to stay awesome.